Wow. 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 Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, wow, I wasn't expecting that thorough of an introduction. <laughs> um, thank you, everyone, for being here. Graduations are, are so powerful and so important. Um, my name is Greg Walton, as you heard from the intro. Um, before I begin, I'd like to you know, thank God. Without him, I would not be here today, so thank you, God. Um, secondly, I want to thank your executive director, Bob Dame, for inviting me to be the first alum to be the keynote speaker for graduation. So thank you, Bob. Uh, appreciate that. Um, and like I said, I've attended a lot of graduations. This is the best looking graduating class I've ever seen. So give it up for y'all. And I'm not just saying that because I'm speaking. All right. So. Just over 10 years ago, I was sitting exactly where you're sitting right now. I was graduating from Europe, and now I know what you're all thinking. How could it be possible because I look so young? But again, a story for another day. Um, but when I graduated from Europe, I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do with my life, where my life was headed, what was next whether I'd keep the friendships that I gained during my time in Europe from students and staff, would I get extended at my internship, get another job, what would I be doing in my life, period? Raise your hand if these are things that you're, you're thinking about right now. All right, I see some hands. Well, I'm here to provide some answers on what could be possible for you with also giving you a look at my life and what I've come from. I grew up in a situation where my mom battled drug addiction dad not around, ended up in the foster care system by the age of five. My great-grandmother took me in at the age of six. We lived in Dorchester, where my Dorchester people at? All right, all right. And by the age of 10, I moved in with my aunt and uncle. Pretty much I never felt stable, and I, mattered, I still managed to get decent grades and star in multiple sports. I was the, also the first from my immediate family to graduate from high school and go off to college. Now. Most of you would think that I was good. I was straight, I was all set. Truth was, I was an immature 70 year old boy, mostly concerned about chilling, girls, and being the best Madden player I can be. I'm still trying to be the, the, the last one. <laughs> but because the majority of those things got my attention, this meant my grades suffered. I flunked out of college after a year and a half, which led me to be even more lost, broke, making very poor decisions, including illegal ones. History shows that if you live a life like that, soon enough it'll catch up with you, and I wasn't exempt from that. August 28, 2004, I was arrested and thrown in jail for carrying an illegal firearm. Not long after I was sentenced to a year and a day behind the wall and three years of probation, here I am. All the promise in the world, being a positive trailblazer in my family, but just in a few short months, I'm in a jail cell. For a lot of young black men, coming from this can seem impossible. But thank God, I had a bunch of people that cared about me. I had a guidance counselor from my high school, Christy Ludwig, who sent me inspiring letters to keep me motivated. From jail, I got in contact with an old friend who would end up being supportive and caring and also be there the day that I walked out of prison, August 29, 2005, a beautiful girl named Alicia. Y'all yeah. can give it up for her, absolutely. Despite having all that support, I still came home very depressed and burdened with knowing I was another black man with a criminal record. Eventually, I began to believe that coming from this was impossible. Now this word impossible is one that we should never give in to. So this may be easier looking at the definition. So let's look at the definition of impossible. Not able to occur, exist, or be done. But you know what, here in New England, We've had a lot of good examples of coming from impossible. If you've asked any major league, major league baseball fan, 
for the 2004 season if we could come back from down 3-0 in the ALCS, they would say, that's impossible because it had never been done. But you know what? The Red Sox did come back and be the first team to come back from a 3-0 deficit and change that narrative to being possible. If you asked any NFL fan from the 2017 season, if you could be down 28 to three in the middle of the third quarter, even with Tom Brady, could you come back and win the Super Bowl? They would say it was impossible. But y'all know what happened. And let me tell you another one. If I told you a young black man in America would be born to a mother that battled drug addiction, didn't, didn't meet his biological father until his late 20s, went to prison in 2004 at the age of 18 with felony convictions, came home and served three years of superior court probation, could only manage a job shagging carts and bagging groceries for $6.75 an hour, and would end up completing a program called Year Up, learned skills that would uh, earn him a career within two years at MIT, marry a beautiful woman that held him down while he was in prison. Okay? Buy a home in less than five years, be the first alum to join the national board, father two children, get promoted several times, make more money than 50% of the people in the state of Massachusetts. Thank you. Thank you. Be nominated and selected to win the highest honor possible for a staff person at their job, an MIT Excellence Award, and their 10th year working there, and then the next year come full circle and be the keynote speaker for the graduation of the same program that they graduated from. Impossible, right? Listen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to quote I'm going to have to quote the former speaker before me, uh, Max. Um, but this is just the beginning. I may not know all of you, but I've stayed connected to doing alumni and volunteering. I spent several years going back to my high school, telling them what I wish I knew when I was there. And somebody stopped me. Who was that? Anthony that stopped me? Where he at? I think he stopped me before I came here. Like, I still remember you coming back and talking to my class. Jackson was just texting me yesterday about a job interview that happened to be with somebody that I knew. Ricardo, Allen, Christopher from MIT, I will do the same for you. I close with this. In 10 short years, I've been able to accomplish what most would say could not be done. Don't ever let someone tell you that your dreams are not possible. They just haven't seen it done yet. If you're really willing to work hard, surround yourself around people who care about you and want to see you be someone successful, anything is possible. Congratulations to the Year Up Boston graduating class. I challenge you all to be better people for yourselves, for your families, and your communities. God bless.